Hey guys, and welcome to Functional Print Friday. So we're out here on my front porch, and a couple weeks ago I put one of these power over ethernet doorbell cameras up, and uh, largely been happy with it, but the angle of it just isn't quite right. I've got these big like side windows uh, to the side of the door, actually on both sides, and there's a couple steps coming down that you can't see behind you on the porch, and I don't want to move it down, uh, but I would like the view to be a little bit lower. If I move it down, I'm afraid I'm, you know, I'm not actually going to be at the right level to see somebody's face. Uh, but I think if I angle it down a little bit, I'll be good. I'd also like to angle it in a little bit this way uh, to better, you know, get somebody at the door if they are close to the door. It's okay if they're, you know, like two or three feet back, but if they get real close to the door, I can't see them. Uh, this camera did come with a 15 degree wedge that you can use in left or right. That's too much for this application, and it's not going to help me with the angling down a little bit. So this wasn't even going to be a video originally. I started by just going on Thingiverse and I found that someone had designed almost exactly what I needed and really close to the angles that I needed and I just downloaded it and printed it. Uh, but unfortunately it's not the right size. It's close, but it's not the right size. It's too wide uh, and it's not long enough. Uh, and based on the really simple shapes in here, I think they probably just did this in like Tinkercad and nothing wrong with that. I mean, we'll have to start somewhere, but I really would like it if it actually fit properly. And by the way, to their credit, if I grab the template, this is not the right size either. The screw hole positions are correct, which I guess is all that matters for like a template like this. Uh, but the actual uh, size of this outer ring does not correspond with the size of the outer ring of the, uh, the actual camera module. So um, yeah, let's get some measurements of the real thing and design one. All right, I brought it up to my desk because it'll be easy to measure up here and just draw it out. Oh, let me show you what I was talking about here with the template. So I'm going to line up, I don't know if you guys can see this from, you know what, I'm going to cut this out. I think that'll make it easier to see. All right, so if we hold it up here, you can see, you know, it kind of fits the inside diameter. It's like, I wonder if maybe they just took the wrong dimension when they made the template. Because uh, if I line it here, up here at like the edge, you can see how much short we are. Let's, let's actually measure it. Yeah, it's like 129. And the real thing is 133.12. Alright, so 133.12 is our length. And looks like we are 49 millimeters wide. What I don't know is, this looks like a half circle to me. Um, I don't know if it is, so I think what we'll do is, we'll do an initial design where we just draw the sort of oval shape. We'll print that out real thin, like half a millimeter, uh, and then put that up against this and see if it matches before we do any other work. So, let's do that. All right, test print is done. Let's see how it looks. And that fits. Perfect. It is dead on. So that's all they did. This is each side of this is just half of a circle. Uh, so we can continue. All right, and here is the design that I came up with. And you see, the first thing we did was just finish out our, our flat sketch with the cutout that we need for the center and where our screw holes are. And I just duplicated that, extruded it, and adjusted it for the angle of the wedge we want. So this one is uh, three degrees down and five degrees to the left. If we wanted something more extreme, I can just duplicate that face. We'll go ahead and extrude it up, say, 20 millimeters. Let's say we wanted 10 degrees down and 10 degrees to the left. Uh, so we'll come in, select our top face. Rotate our face here first. We'll go 10. And then come up, get our other face. And then to go 10 degrees down. And now we've got 10 degrees in both the down and to the left. Uh, or we could flip that over and have 10 degrees up and 10 degrees to the right. Uh, so easy for me to come in here in the future and just adjust this to whatever angle I need. So, all right, let's get this one printed out and see how it fits. All 
All right, our print's done, looks good. A neat texture on it from that compound angle uh, that we set it at, uh, five degrees in one direction, three in the other. Let's check our fit. Uh, looks like it lines up really, really well. So let's, uh, let's go try installing this. All right, so I think the first thing we have to do is remove the metal plate here that is directly onto the frame around the door and then route the wire uh, through our wedge and get everything back installed as one stack up here. You know, I probably should have checked to make sure that our slot here gave us at least as much access as this plate, but looks like we kind of lucked out. It does. We have uh, basically full overlap, uh, which means we probably didn't need this big of an opening, but certainly doesn't hurt to have it. All right, that looks really good now. Perfect fit all the way around. In fact, it probably fits better than the 15 degree wedge that they actually included with the camera. So I'm gonna tuck the wire back into the J channel and we'll go check the image. All right, so here's a shot from last night. And this is, so this is the original angle of the camera. And what I really wanted was uh, to bring sort of the area here at the middle of the steps, uh, a bit closer to the center of the image uh, and see a little bit further down into this area here where we often get packages dropped off. So I'm gonna switch to our new still shot and not a huge difference but it accomplishes pretty much exactly what I wanted we get this closer to the center uh, I may print one a little bit more of an angle and just see if we can pull it over a little bit more but I think I've got enough now of the floor if I switch back and forth you can see uh, it's not that it picks up a huge area here but it picks up that area where packages tend to sit right in front of the door so you can see if anything has been dropped off guys as always thanks for hanging out in the channel with me this week as always, the STL for this design, as well as the STLs for all of the designs I feature on this channel are on my site, fpfdesigns.com, and that will be linked down in the description. The specific camera that this fits is the Rio Link PoE camera. They make a Wi-Fi one as well. I'm pretty sure they're the same camera housing, so it should fit for either one. Uh, so it's really easy to customize if you want, you know, seven degrees or five degrees or two degrees, whatever. Uh, you should be able to modify it to your needs pretty quickly. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you got anything out of it, do me a favor, take a second, hit that like button. Uh, it really helps out the channel, also tells YouTube the kind of stuff you like to look at. And if this is your first time on the channel, I do a new functional print every single week. Uh, solves a problem around the house, around the shop. I fix a lot of things that otherwise would go in the garbage. And sometimes we do prints completely, like, or, or I should say designs completely from scratch as well. All the prints are from scratch. Uh, so if this is your first time here and you want to see more of that, hit that subscribe button. And guys, if you do, I'll see you next Friday.